One of those um, composers who falls between all the, um, the big names in, in music history. Um, um, and the strange thing is that he is actually one of the, the, the he was considered even by Matazon at the beginning of the 18th century, Matazon is an author who wrote an awful lot about musical life in Germany at that time, who says that Kaiser is the most famous composer of, of uh, Germany at that time. So this is before even Handel became uh, famous, before Bach became famous, so at the very end of the 17th century and the very beginning of the 18th century. and quite an international composer at the very ending of the uh, end of the 17th century and he puts all that into effect for writing music that is in most cases extremely dramatic, extremely um, direct also. It's music that touches hearts, it's not, it's not intellectual music at all, it's music that makes heavy impressions in a very 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 short time. The Brugge's Passion for example, which is actually a sort of opera, but on a secular theme. Um, there is nothing of that very cerebral or, or almost holy atmosphere that we sometimes feel with, with Bach passions. It's really very active, a very dramatic, a very uh, vivid um, uh, uh, depiction of the passion of Christ. So the cruelty of, Christ, of Christ's passion, the, 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 the way his body is, is bleeding and is battered to pieces and is, is, uh, is hurting, um, that ugliness is transformed in the utmost beauty, in the utmost, uh, in, an, in a deed of utmost beauty for humankind. So he's always comparing b ugliness and utter beauty. Actually, um, somebody who was also uh, who also studied law. Well, many did, but he worked in that in that field as well. And he worked in politics. He was a senator for a very long time uh, in the Hamburg Senate. He was even uh, he had another political function in a little city quite uh, um, close to Hamburg. So he had um, a well diplomatic, a political career as well. Um, whether that really meant anything for him or did anything with his authority as an author, I wonder. I think the, 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 the most important element in, in, in Brooks' production is that he was the first one to do so, the first one to write a story, a poetic story based on the four Gospels and also that he knew some of the composers who set his music personally. From the four. Official text by Brokers somewhat modified has been set by already many many different composers. So we, we have Telemann, we have Handel, for example, Stolzl, all have versions of, of the official passion. Er lehrt, ist öffentlich geschehen, 
Und darf ich ja es dir hier nicht erst sagen? Du kannst nur die so nicht gehören. Kaiser um, um, was made the first setting and it was also performed in Brooks House, the first setting. So it was also literature that was not meant to be published like that and then perhaps some composer would set it. It was meant with the purpose of being set to music. Um, Hamburg uh, was also the city where um, uh, Henry worked. So the, also the second setting was closely made or, or in the vicinity of Brokus. Um, Telemann, same story. Matheson, same story. So all these, the, the, the first important Brokus Passion originated really in his facility in Hamburg that the four of them, so um, at that moment Kaiser, Matheson, Henle and Telemann would be played in the same season, the four versions. There are even concerts in Hamburg where parts of the four were combined together to form one new, new unit. And for me, the difference with, um, with Kaiser's version and, Tele and Telemann's version is that Kaiser's is much more condensed, it's much shorter, and in that sense is, is much more powerful. Stop this way. 